Hey, thank you for tuning in to my channel. I'm really, really um, just delighted to see the people that are making comments on my videos and um, just some really good thoughts, really good ideas. So thank you for sharing and thank you for um, supporting me in my venture here. Um, you know, I started this channel about um, a month ago, not even a month ago. And it was after Kylie had been recovered, and I thought that the news would, on the Kylie Rodney case would really be dying down because of that. And it wasn't dying down, and it's still not dying down. That's my point. That's why I'm bringing it up right now. Um, it seems to me that it just has not even started, in a sense. Um, there's a lot of strange things with this case, as we all know, and I think sometimes it's important to go back to the basics, um, especially when we know what we know right now, and then going back to, um, what seemed like simple basics. For instance, the necklace, okay? That was one of the first things in the investigation, be on the lookout for the necklace. And it really left us scratching our heads, like, why? Like, how would you know she doesn't have her necklace, um what <laughs> so now they've recovered her they've said nothing about the necklace and it really really makes me wonder i mean my concept of that necklace is that it has a great meaning and that somebody took it from her um and that people knew that somebody else had the necklace and that's why the necklace became news early on so who that somebody might be let me just say, everything that I say here is speculation. It's just my opinion. Um, it's just my thoughts and ideas. And, you know, take it with a grain of salt, right? Um, it's for just simple discussion, educational, um, entertainment purposes only. Um, so that being said, let me get into some of my um, notes here and get my little glasses on I, I don't like to wear them simply because I don't like the glare and I don't know if it distracts other people the way it distracts me so um, I wanted to start with this big news we had last week about Jagger being cleared right that was reported by the Sun which we all know or most of us know it's not a very reputable newspaper and I think the precise language was Jagger was cleared early on in the investigation. And it's my understanding that he was cleared when he said that he was fishing with his father and his father said, yeah, my son was fishing with me. Um, I don't know that that has withstood the test of time. It seems as though Jagger has come up with an alternative um, alibi that he was busy that night at a party of his own that he was throwing. I don't know. Um, but honestly, clearing that person <laughs> in my mind would be like clearing NK in the Watts case. Really? Um, it just doesn't add up to me. And it especially doesn't add up to me now that he's moved in to um, Kylie's house with his girlfriend, Kate, one of her best friends. I mean, this whole thing is just so weird. Um, so, so I really, I don't trust this news. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't trust this news that Kylie, that Jagger's been cleared in Kylie's um, disappearance or death. And again, how can we have anybody be cleared when we don't have a date? We simply do not have a date of when she perished. So, you know, to me, it just seems like fake news. I mean, I've been around long enough to know that you can't believe everything that you read. And just even if it's printed in a reputable newspaper, sometimes they get information incorrect and it was an honest mistake. And other times, they are intentionally trying to get the information incorrect, okay? 
Um, it's called propaganda. And it's a very real thing. So, um, who was this other dude that was with um, Kate and Jagger when they went to Reno and Fox News followed along early in the investigation? Um, I've heard that it's the Nate C. Nate um, Cuba Canyon, if I'm saying that right. The um, 20-year-old who was arrested on August 10th in... Um, connection to the death of the 15 year old from June or July I'm pretty sure it was June um, who he'd also had um, inappropriate sexual um, lewd and lascivious acts with and so if Nate C was the one with Jagger and Kate when they were in my opinion fake looking for Kylie I mean they weren't even doing a good job of fake looking they were not even acting they weren't even pretending they were just like hanging out and just like taping up a sign here and there and you know these people are really really bad actors i'll get back to that in a minute so um why is it that um we've not heard anything of Elite J, Elite Jay Z, no, yeah, Elite Jay Z, Ronnie. That's what he changed his name to on social media. Elite Jay Z is so flippin' disgusting. I mean, I, I realize it's close to the name of my channel, Justice A to Z, but it's a totally different thing. For anybody who doesn't know the slang jizz, I would think everybody knows that slang. Elite. Jizz is his new social media profile. Like, if that's not sus, I don't know what is. Um, everything about that Ronnie character and everybody who's affiliated with him, uh, such as Xanime, um, and I, I won't go on to name others, um, but I do want to say that my... Uh, comprehension of what Xanime and Ronnie and some others um, SF investigates um, what these people are doing is nothing short of psychological warfare on the internet um, the gaslighting the the fake profiles the going after um, certain content creators um, it's it's heinous it, it's like an all-out war and you know, I think some people early on have said that this Kylie Rodney case felt like a spiritual warfare between good and evil. Um, I wouldn't disagree with that. And I would think that the spiritual warfare is sliding over into the Internet, too. Mm. Excuse me. Um, so just a couple more things I wanted to touch on today. Still, I'm doing shorter ones because there's just not much information in the news, is there? Um, in the fake news, even. <laughs> so, what I wanted to talk about with the psychological warfare and Sammy, Sammy's definitely a part of that, um, that these people that are, again, in my opinion, in on this, are unable to control themselves. They have this compulsion, this narcissistic drive to gain attention, to control the narrative, to attack people, whether that is, um, you know, on videos or in comment sections. Um, but that inability to control themselves is going to very likely be what they take themselves down with right I mean putting these things out in the public forum even if you delete them they're still out in the public forum they can still be retrieved and we all know there's people that are screenshotting and screen recording things because they think that it probably will get deleted or in case it does um but, you know, keep a close eye on these characters and any of these, like, new anonymous characters that come to, to bat. Like, what are we expecting? Like a Jane Doe 3, 4, 5, 6? I mean, come on. Um, 
the creators, the content creators, if that's what you want to call them, um, that are making shit up and supporting um, the fake news, shame on you. Just absolutely shame on you. Um, I, I just have no respect for anybody who would do something like that. You know, if you make a mistake and you present something as if it's a fact because you think that it's a fact, you've been led to believe that it is, that's very different than intentionally misleading people. And if any of us make that mistake of presenting something that we find out is complete hogwash, you know, we'll take accountability for that and apologize. I mean, of course, when you're covering a ton of information, that's going to happen every so often. Um, and it just, it's always a learning experience, just being more careful, just checking your sources. And, you know, and also just the way you phrase things, like to the best of my knowledge, um, you know, it's like lawyer speak, you never say never and never say always. You say almost never and almost always. And then you kind of covered your bases, but I didn't want to give that tip to the, <laughs> to the bad guys. <laughs> so um, something that I haven't seen anybody do in this case, this is my last point for today, so this is a very short one. Um, I have seen no one, tell me if you have in the comments below, I have seen no one do the typical woulda, shoulda, coulda that friends and family do when they've lost a loved one. You know, it's, it's very natural to blame yourself and, you know, in a real life situation, you can't blame yourself. Um, I mean, if you were doing the best that you could, if you were doing something stupid, then, then yeah, take the responsibility for it. But, um, you know, some little things like, you know, oh, if I would have made sure she had a, a new charged battery or, oh, you know, if I would have um, picked her up from the party or if I would have uh, tried to get her to sober up before she... Um, got in her car. Uh, if I would have just kept an eye on her and made sure that nobody did anything foul. Um, if I would have maybe not punched her in the face during the, uh, fight. Um, <laughs> just had to throw that one in there. Um, you know, that is one of the rules of the fight club, the not punching in the face that seems to me that it has been addressed um, indirectly by SS. Um, and I don't know how many people know, but her most recent like TikTok post that she put up had the lyrics to a song and she was singing the lyrics to the song and it was about fighting somebody until they expired. And if you haven't heard about that, um, check out Harsh Reality. I think it was his newest one. Um, I had seen the TikTok post, you know, several different places, but I hadn't caught the part about the lyrics that, um, she is lip syncing or singing or whatever, but, um, you know, Harsh has kind of given her the benefit of the doubt and saying, oh, well, maybe she's just super stupid and didn't realize what she was doing. Um, I think we all know that SS is not super stupid and, and I think he was just, you know, pretending to give the benefit of the doubt, okay? Um, this chick, if she is what she looks like she is, if she's as dangerous as it looks to me like she is, I'm concerned for anybody who's hanging out with her. I mean, I, I've thought about Jorn Vandersloot from the outset of this with her um, going down to UC Irvine to enroll in college. Um, and, you know, for her to be putting this stuff on social media, what if somebody at the school confronts her and asks her about Kylie? Um, you know, how is she going to handle that? How is she going to handle that person? Um, I'm very concerned. And on that, let me make sure that I touched on all of the items that I had listed here. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, and yeah, J 
just that inability to control your compulsions. Um, that is something that affects us all. I mean, like with addictions, um, if we're not able to control our addictions, our addictions control us and we do stupid things. So, you know, if somebody is addicted to attention, addicted to power, um, addicted to the thrill of feeling like they got away with something, they will continue to um, just do things that are less than intelligent in, um, in time, they will give themselves away. So, you know, it seems to me that that is what we are looking at here, but we have yet to see. So it is Monday, I think it's the 25th, maybe it's the 26th, let me look at my phone, um, 26th. So it's Monday, it's um, just about 12.30, and yeah, I try to get my videos done in the morning, I had a lot going on this morning, so sorry that I'm a little late, <laughs> please forgive me. Um, thank you once again, please don't forget to hit the uh, like button, um, if you don't mind, if you do like it, you know, don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already done so and please share and you know I, I'm just really really excited I, I got over 500 subs just as of uh, last night so thank you thank you so much and i um, looking forward to getting to a thousand because as I mentioned before once you get to a thousand subs you can start doing lives where you can interact with the audience live in real time so I think that would be um, just a really interesting way to go. Um, some of the comments just from last night's video were um, great, you know. Some of you folks seem like you're ready to start your own channels too. So anybody who's interested, I would highly encourage it. Although, of course, nothing's easy. People that were encouraging me that do it said, oh, yeah, it's easy. You'll, you'll have no problem. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't feel like I'm having a problem coming up with the content. It's the things like the lighting and like the little studio and, you know, making sure your shirt's straight and your pictures are straight. You know, the camera, the fisheye messes with that. And I had some people early on making some snarky comments about my artwork being crooked. Um, no, it's not crooked. So I know it looks like it because I'm looking at it right there in the computer screen. So it's not. It's just the way the angle of the camera and the walls are. Anyway, I will see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Drink your water, eat your vegetables and your fruit and your protein. Get some exercise and fresh air. Treat yourself well. Relax. It's, that's, I find, one of the most challenging things is just to give myself a break and relax. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow, if not sooner. Thank you.